Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. The health ranger, Mike Adams, is going to be in studio with us. We're going into the fourth hour today on this Friday edition. i got a lot of other news I haven't even gotten to yet, but I want to get into all things health, the approval of GMO salmon, and the government doesn't want you to be able to even know if it's GMO or not. That is a huge precedent setting event. We're going to be talking about that. But Ted Anderson did get back in time from his meeting. And Ted, good to have you here because I wanted to have Bob uh, talk a little bit about gold. And we've got uh, flames of anger, strikes and fury spread over Europe. Uh, the risk of currency devaluation, gold hitting an all-time high of what, uh, 1,317 today? Uh, we've got all of this incredible news coming out. And I wanted to have you throw out today's gold and silver uh, offer that I know you're able to hold through Sunday. And if people would have bought a month ago, you know, this was gold 100 and something lower than it is now. You're almost about to run out of the gold you bought a few weeks ago. So, so that savings will disappear. And then gold will go up even more, the evidence shows. And, you know, people will be getting the gold you bought this week that's still going to be lower than it is in a few weeks, the way this trend is going with many of the futures, according to Bloomberg, being at 1,500. In fact, the majority uh, by December. I don't know if that's going to happen. L l let me just briefly, because we're almost out of time. Bob, in a nutshell, where do you see gold going in the next three months? Straight up. Uh, we're going to go up to somewhere between 15 and 16.50. We'll back and fill. And after that, I think they'll take a shot at 2,000, maybe even higher. Uh, they can't stop it now. They being uh, the cartel uh, that is c continuing to try to keep gold down because it makes the dollar and everything else look bad. And it's not working for them anymore. And I see them in the market today trying to drive it down. They just can't do it. And so you want to be long gold and silver assets, and you want to do it right now. Ted Anderson, uh, tell us today's super offers that are only available for radio listeners. And this is good through Sunday evening, correct, Ted? Yeah, it's good through Sunday evening. And the only reason why I didn't raise prices is because I think I might have you on K-Talk. I was just getting out of a meeting with their PD over there, and I was just... Excited as, as ever to be able to 100,000 watt uh, blowtorch. Ted, uh, so you were unable to raise prices because you're the boss up there at Midas. So this is it. Uh, this is yeah, gold you, you bought weeks ago. You're, you're going to be able to pick up walking Liberty halves for me clear through Sunday at 1050 with silver now. Man, I tell you, gold hit 1321.80 so far, silver 2217. Uh, Excuse me, did you just say 13, 1320? 1321.80. I mean, it, it, Alex, it's breaking through all the resistance. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Guys, Google gold and put up a headline about this. Uh, I guarantee it'll be headlines everywhere. 1,321. Bob, that's amazing. They're speechless on CNBC and Bloomberg. I got them both on here. <laughs> all right, folks. If you want to get gold, uh, what? Did, did you buy this stuff in the market at, like, what twelve seventy or so, Ted? Well, let's ju let's just put it this way: I'm starting to lose money on transactions because I haven't raised prices. I mean, francs are at two eighty three sixty two. You're not going to find those out there anywhere, especially considering the fact that you can get that full year subscription to Bob's newsletter. Well, Ted, it doesn't take a rocket scientist if you're offering the creature from Jekyll Island, a nineteen ninety five value book. Uh, and a silver dollar for 26 bucks. That It, it doesn't take a rocket scientist that you're l losing money on that. No, that one, I'm losing money, and it, but it, it educates the people. It gets people informed. I mean, people should know what the Fed is all about. The truth is, you're awesome. 800-686-2237. Uh, and, of course, you ran out of the buffaloes at that price that was... Hundreds yeah, of dollars buffaloes, lower. I mean, I'll be lucky to get onesie twosies. If you call in for them and you're looking for the buffalo, just to ask the salespeople, and uh, you know they'll do what they can to. But you're not going to buy, you know, a hundred of them. That's for sure. It's just they, the mint stopped making them. So you know, eight hundred six eight six two two three seven. Well, this is the all time record for gold, day after day breaking all time records. Eight hundred six eight six two two three seven. 
Ted, I'm going into the fourth hour today with the Health Ranger. Will you give us another five-minute report in that fourth hour and, and, and go print off all the reports and, and give us a detailed breakdown? We know why it's happening. The Federal Reserve has announced they're going to print a bunch of money. Bob Chapman, we'll see you next week, buddy. You got it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll be right back with the Health Ranger. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh, made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They sow pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gusset's got it we turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jeans got it. Others don't. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the go. info war. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've had this up uh, since it started this morning at prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. We'll try to get the former head of Pakistani intelligence, General Hamid Ghul, on sometime next week. Uh, we're launching uh, that right now to attempt to get the general on. The last two times he's been on, we've been contacted by his people. Second attack on NATO convoy in Pakistan. Assailants in Pakistan launched two separate attacks Friday on vehicles carrying fuel for NATO and American forces in Afghanistan, highlighting the vulnerability of U.S.-led mission a day after Pakistan closed a major border crossing. A truck driver and his assistant were burned alive in a second attack on a single tanker in the parking lot of the restaurant of the southeastern province. The police officer, Mohammed Azim, said uh, the anti-state elements were behind the attack. Uh, the, 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 I mean, the problem is mercenaries have been caught staging attacks. MI6 commandos, special air services have been caught staging attacks in Iraq, London Guardian. I mean, they've been caught. So you never know what's really behind this. It'll take time to analyze it and look at it. But because they've increased drone attacks, and they admittedly do it, two weddings, two groups of innocent people, because these are tribal folks, they will then try to come kill you 
and come kill our troops. And then the media can say, look, there's a real war there. That's why we're there. See, the globalists don't care if troops die. In fact, they like it. Uh, they like them using DU. They like using them as guinea pigs with the vaccines. They like doing secret chemical and biological uh, tests on people. And so if they're getting trillions and trillions a year through these fake wars in oil and weapon sales and no-bid contracts, are they then going to stage a few things or provocateur or kill people's families so they fight back and then it's called terrorism? It's, it, it's, it's very, very simple how all of this works. So looks like that war is kicking into high gear just like uh, Vietnam. And uh, now we're seeing all these ridiculous news reports about bin Laden uses the floods to drum up support in Pakistan. He's running everything. And and he wants to attack Europe, so we better give up all our rights or, or Al Qaeda is going to get us. It's, it's incredible. Now, we're going to be live into the next hour. And next hour, I'm going to open the phones up. For Mike Adams, the health ranger, who is here uh, in studio with us today. And uh, we're also going to talk uh, a little bit uh, about some of the things he's been seeing down in South America, uh, in uh, Ecuador and surrounding areas. Of course, soldiers in Ecuador have uh, refused, uh, have rescued President Rafael Carrera from a police hospital where he was being held by force. The troops opened fire on dissident law enforcement officers. A state of emergency has been declared in the country following police protest against new government austerity measures, which would cut off their benefits. So got the police out there uh, really angry about that. And so you're from down in that neck of the woods. We'll get uh, your take uh, on that as well. And we're going to talk about a whole host of health issues. They're trying to take over the family farms and ranches with legislation. The bombshell issue of saying we're going to put GMO with eel genes and insect genes. Got a bunch of varieties. We're going to approve it. And then uh, we're not going to let you have a label on it to know if it's GMO. I mean, that sets the precedent for so much. Uh, Mike Adams, good to have you here, buddy. Hey, it's great to be here, Alex. Always a pleasure to be on your show. What, it's great to have you. What brings you to uh, the good old USA, and what's your take on what's happening down in Ecuador? Well, as you know, I lived in Ecuador on and off for a couple of years. I, I talked to some of my friends who live in the southern portion of the country. Not a lot has changed in the south. But up in the north, in Quito, where this was taking place, uh, yeah, a lot of action. you got to realize the police there, they're really underfunded. I mean, they're good people, but they're underfunded, and they felt like their benefits were being cut. It felt like an attack to them, and there's a lot of frustration among the population. I talked to taxi drivers down there, for example, and prices are going up and up on everything, the food, the basics that they need, and a lot of that's because of the money, the monetary policy that you cover here. It's global concerted devaluation. Absolutely, and it's hitting them hard. Their families are having to make tough decisions. And in some parts of the country, like Guayaquil, which is the largest city where there's some unrest right now, you know, it's tough for them to make ends meet. And so when the police saw their benefits getting cut, uh, they decided to take some rather radical action that was, of course, you know, illegal under the country. And uh, Correa survived. And now, you know, whatever you think of Correa, he's going to be perceived as a hero. So I was mispronouncing it. It's Correa. Yeah, it's Correa. It's, uh, but in any case... He's, uh, you know, he's educated in the U.S., graduated from the University of Illinois with a, with a Ph.D. in economics. And well, it's come out over and over again that a lot of these Asian, Latin American, African leaders are like Goldman Sachs operatives, economic hitmen. What's the case with him? Well, I, it's hard to characterize him. I wouldn't say he's an economic hitman, but I would say that there are economic hitmen who are trying to influence him. And he, he's a hard guy to, to influence uh, he's in, in fact, he's taken some actions against the U.S. about the military bases, for example. But he also leans a little bit, you know, towards Chavez. So it, it's hard to say. Well, the same thing happened to Chavez, uh, Hugo Chavez, back in 2002. One month before it happened, uh, Greg Pallas of the BBC said, watch, there's about to be a coup. And the military grabbed him, put him on a helicopter uh, to, I guess, trump up charges and put him in prison like Noriega or something. And the military turned back and said, you better bring him right back. Yeah. Well, I would say that the situation in Ecuador for, for people living there is really pretty much normal. But at the top, in the capital, this isn't over yet, probably. And you're going to see some more action uh, 
political action, you're going to see him clean house throughout the police force. There are going to be arrests. There are going to be, you know, people prosecuted for treason, for sure. Well, we understand why in our own government, almost all of the actual anti-terrorism.